Yo, what's up guys? It's your boy Yeet here, and welcome back to another Vanguard Zero episode. Well, this is more of a deck profile today. Uh, today was, uh, today is October 1st, and as there always being a new month, of course a new set drop, set 8. I pulled my packs this morning while I was at work. I pulled Fantastic. You're gonna see a lot of that pack, pack results tomorrow, but... Since I can't stream tonight, I wanted to get up a deck profile because there is a new se season this year. They came out with a new they came out with two new trial decks, okay? And I was already at in a one of them was for uh, Oracle Think Tank and the other was for Nova Grapplers. Nova Grappler gives you gets you an Azure Dragon and the other one is Oracle Think Tank and it gives you Scarlet Witch Coco. Now, I love Coco. I've been using Coco Solus with like uh with Sky Witch Nana, Lulu, and then the Battle Sister Double, trip, double R, and. Uh, what is he? What was his name? Hold up. It was the. Apollon. That was his name. It was Apollon. And, well, I kind of purchased the trial, de the trial deck two more times so I can get my last two Coco. So I figured I'd do a deck profile that I actually have completed for this time. Uh, not a lot of my, a lot of my decks though are really close to finish. My, probably the best highlight is was probably my Aqua Force pulls. Uh, but anyways, we're here to talk about Scarlet Witch Coco. And this is the deck profile that I have been, well, I have concocted for Scarlet Witch Coco. It is what I call Coco Solus Crit Rush. Uh, so, this deck literally, like, it's for the first couple of turns, like, until you hit grade three, you're gonna have almost no hand you're gonna want to call as little as no cards as possible except for writing every turn after unless because if your opponent starts putting at intercepts out on grade like what if they if your opponent rides first and they start throwing out intercepts before you ride grade three you're most likely not going to be hitting their vanguard and that's going to suck that's probably this one deck's weakness but after you hit grade three God, it is go up from there. Now, hold up. I just realized something. This is wrong. I don't have SP. Give me two seconds. One. Two. Can't believe I didn't have that set up. I'm so sorry about that. This is how you correctly play the deck. My fault. This is the true deck profile. Now we're going to go over the deck. First off is your starter, Little Witch Lulu. She doesn't come out of the soul until your Vanguard hits grade three. But when, she hit, when you hit grade three... You, she got placed from the soul, and you soul blast two to draw a card, which immediately empties your soul. That's a good start, okay? But when you get to grade three, this is where you're really tricky. So, first off, well, I'll explain how this how, when I'm get there. So, obviously, we're playing our four PTs of uh, Battle Sister Shock Lot. Uh, we are playing three copies of uh, Oracle Guardian Gemini for a straight up 8k booster. Uh, that's going to be really important since we're going for a lot of our criticals and we really want to get through damage. Uh, next up is three copies of Battle Sister Omelette. Uh, we not only do we want her for her Battle Sister name, but she also is, when we are soulless, uh, she becomes a 10k on front row, which is another big attacker we can use. Uh, then we are playing two copies of Battle Sister Cream. Uh, not only is she in here for the Battle Sister name, but because we are playing Battle Sister Cookie, which is now the double R that I remember I also am playing, uh, we can Soul Blast when it add 5,000 power. And she's in here, the same reason why I just put Gentle Jim is in there. When we hit Grade 3 for the first time, we are obviously going to be activating whatever skill we land on. If we get the one for, if we get the one for Maj, which I just pulled out of the triple R ticket... Uh, guaranteed triple R ticket for this season. Uh, or we get Coco, who counterblasts two to draw one. Or if we even get Battle Sister Cookie, who counterblasts two to draw us and di draw two cards and discard a card for hand. 
we don't want to just do that once because right now our grade threes are our only source of a draw outside of uh, the roulette grade two, which is uh, Rock Witch Gaga, and you don't want to. This could be uh, basically search through, and we want to be able to continuously draw cards. So if we have to go and right, and that's our only way of counter blasting the effects as well. So we want to be having to have access to that and gentle gym and having that soul blast and discarding card will obviously cost us one card. But the Soul Blast is going to help us go Soulless again after we hit Grade 3 again so that we have our skills propped off. That's why we have Gentle Jim in here. And I completely forgot to do that. I just quickly built this deck. I had the deck list written here and I I'm literally met, just forgot to do that. Uh, and obviously, we have our one copy of Battle Sister uh, Cocoa. A regular Cocoa. She was the uh, Battle Reward. I unfortunately only got one and I do not have any other crafted. But even if I did have any other crafted... I most likely wouldn't run anymore uh, because honestly this is like you don't really need her she's just in here for the battle sister name you could even play if you don't even have her you could play another copy of cream or uh, another copy of omelet if you even wanted to and you'd be perfectly fine I, I just playing her because I actually can uh, three copies of silent Tom obviously this is your big finisher I only have three time and three is all you really need because uh, we are not doing this, like Sukuyomi was like the best way to pull off Tom because you can s attack with Tom and then stand with stand Tom with s uh, stand triggers But because we're playing crits, we're pushing as much damage as we can with uh, With Coco first and then Tom's the finisher do not place Tom unless you know your opponent is at five damage It's not worth it uh, Yeah, then we are playing four copies of battle sister glass say this is your 12k attacker uh, during your turn, since we have no soul, and it's also a battle sister name if we end up writing Fromage. Uh, then, of course, I already explained Rock Witch Gaga. And then the last unit we are playing is three copies of Battle Sister Macaron. Uh, because we have a lot of Battle Sisters in the deck, uh, we only have, we have, uh, Battle Sister Fromage and we have Battle Sister Cookie. If those, one of those two end up becoming our Vanguard, then our van then that unit becomes a 12k attacker and that's going to be good numbers for us. This deck is pretty self-explanatory and pretty easy to learn out. Uh, the only other card I didn't explain is uh, Rock Witch Gaga, and all she is is 13k when you have no re uh, no cards in your soul. That's pretty much it for this deck profile. Uh, let's just get into some deck uh, games now. And I actually have a match, a person running, willing to friend fight us so that we can get the uh, new season reward as well. So let me just quickly go check on that. All right, he has the code. He's just texted me yet. This is not working right now. There he goes. That was pretty weird. 
Alright. We're facing one of my uh, friends from a Discord server, and this is a uh, demon. Uh, shout outs to him for agreeing to friend fight me for this deck profile. And it looks like he's coming at me with Spike Brothers. Okay. Um, this hand is actually not that bad. Uh, we're always going to put Nana back in the deck, though, because we don't want to have it in there. And otherwise, I think we're looking pretty nice on that, on hand-wise. We're going to ride 8k and then pass turn. Jelly beans. Alright. I expected him not to hold any punches, and he's definitely living up to that. Cream attacks, and there's the crit damage, and he's at three damage. Glass breaker. Douglas. Those jelly beans could be a big issue because he's going to keep putting those heal triggers back into his deck. He's going to hit me for two damage right now if I don't pull a trigger. And that PG right there is the bigger issue. He's going to swing with Vanguard Douglas first. Is the worst. Damn, that sucks. All right. Slice and dice this field. I ride Bow Sister Cookie. A little witch Lulu's Scarlet Entrance with her skill. I soul blast and pick up a card. Then I use the effect of Bow Sister Cookie. Counter Blast. Pick two cards. Um, we want the heal trigger back into our deck, and I kind of want to keep Macar uh, Glass A. So let's actually. Uh, excuse me, I want to keep Macaron. So let's discard Glass A. And then we are actually going to call Rock Witch Gaga here. We'll have rear guard cream attack. Gaga attacks. We're going to draw a card, which actually was a critical trigger. We're putting none on the bottom of the deck. Okay. 
Now we need to get a trigger here in order to pass in order to get through. Oh, and there goes that tr there goes the PG from his hand. He could have more. Hmm. Spike Brothers Rush. This is gonna hurt. Although what I'm confused about is he can't activate Dudley's skill. Cause doesn't Dudley require you to use two? Okay, you can just call one. Why? Okay, well that just sucks for me. Nice recovery there, Nana. He's gonna call the Douglas from the soul. Guarantee it. Oh no, he calls another hitter from the deck. Scarlet Serenity. Ooh. He needs to counter blast two here. Come on, Scar Coco. Pull me crit. Ooh, we hit it. Now, if he doesn't have a PG, he's cooked. Well, that's fine for me either way. Because now he can't activate limit break. And I got two intercepts on board. And we're also looking real nice with Tom in her hand. There's a Juggy Maximum. Which would have been nice if he had access to Limit Break, but he doesn't. That's our third PG. But good news is Coco attack. Scarlet Serenity!
GG! Ooh, the fromage hand. I like that hand. I literally just put two crates back in the deck to get two more crates. <laughs> and this time we're facing Dayusha. Ride Battle Sister Macaroon! Mackie Blast! Die Mariner, eh? He has a Nigman Rain. That doesn't really fit well in Dayusha. Ooh, and he rides! Ooh, that's a yikes for a grade two, boy. You want your die drill or your die dragon? Yeah, you could have, you should have rolled this. Impenetrable shooter blast through my enemies. Right up. With no grade twos, we are going on the offensive. Omelet, Jim, Coco, Gentle Jim, take out Die Drill for me. Scarlet Witch, Coco, attack. Scarlet Scream. With Omelet's boost, Fromage takes aim. Gun Rail. With that, we've tied up at three damage apiece. Although right now, with no grade twos, I know what's coming next, and I'm not a big fan of it because it's gonna hurt like a truck. Okay, that's not what I expected coming. It's still gonna hit like a truck though if he gets it over to 15. Otherwise, this isn't gonna do shit. Next turn, we'll be able to activate Fromage and get ourselves a giant-ass hand. Okay, he heals himself back down to two damage. That's good for him. Now he's got me to sick five damage. That's really good for him. And terrible for me. Can we make a comeback? Okay. 
Gotta be honest though, I'm not a big fan of this hand. From Maj, limit break, scatter shot. Again. I retire Jim and then I call Glassé. Battle. Cookie. Van Gardeno Fromage. Gun rail. That's a critical trigger. That's perfect. Critical to Fromage. Power to Glassé. And because this isn't going to make the numbers, we're going to go attack with the rear guard. We're looking pretty stacked. We got him to four damage. We got two PGs in hand, and we have an intercept to go off of. And we know for a fact that Dimension Police does not have any intercept removals. We still have two more PGs in the deck, and honestly, I'm definitely considering writing a uh, cookie next turn uh, just so I can get access to uh okay he has three cards in his hand does that mean all f and he didn't call another column does that mean his third card in his all three cards in his hand are PGs if so we are so in trouble here well he just had the possibility of just drawing two more uh, another PG out of those two cards however this will mean nothing, though, if we can dig out a Tom from our deck. And I cannot go for that right now because I do not have the counter blasts. So we're going to move that up and just go in. Cookie Crick Class. From Mars Gun Rail. I wanted to go after the Die Mariner, but it doesn't even matter. I have two heal triggers in the deck. Cosmo great. That's 14. He needs to get to the 15, though. Oh, and he got the 15. Good play on his part. My hand didn't give me any great twos. One more game and with Demon here and we're done. Will you go with the same deck again? Oh no, he's coming at me with Aqua Force. 
This is one of the most challenging matchups. Except that hand is actually perfect. I wonder, does he have four of each? Okay, he's playing Theo. Theo, Eric. Okay, now he's writing Algos. Right up, Fromage. Fromage's power crack. Now the steadiness is over. Next turn, we go in for the Red Ritter. Okay, there's the naval, there's the naval gazer head ass. Blue Storm Dragon Maelstrom. That's the card name, Matthew. Don't get it off. Just said my real name on the camera, but doesn't matter. If he didn't pull that trigger, that blue storm dragon in the attack column would not have gone through. I'm just saying. Alright. Time to rid his battlefield and put the pressure on him. Scarlet DA the Red Order. Blow these guys away. Ride! Scarlet Ridge Coco! A little witch, Lily. Lulu Soul Blast. Coco Skill. Gaga. Cream Glacé. Gaga attacks. Gaga skill. Draw a card. We're going to put the heal trigger on the bottom of the deck. Scarlet Witch Coco attack. Come on. That's a yikes! I had five crits in the deck. I wouldn't have even taken a heal trigger there. Drops a heel ticker to draw a card. Ticker. Hoo hoo! That ass.
Right up. I'm going to discard Coco. Omelet. Glace. Fromage. One. Two. However, this attack's going through here, bud. Three. PG. We still have triggers in the deck. And we still have Tom in hand, too. However, we do not have the intercepts. Diamantes. That's trouble for me. I would greatly appreciate if my deck pulled me a heal trigger here. Okay, the deck really is answering to me today. Vasilis here will take out the rear guard. He can choose to activate Vasilis effect and discard a card and draw a card. He did. Probably digging for those PGs. Alright, we've got to go in here. You know, that's not exactly what I wanted to see in there, but I can't complain. I don't have a choice here. I have to call Tom. If I don't call Tom, I'm not going to be able to survive most of the attacks. I need to also bank on a heal trigger here, or else this is going to go really terrible for me next turn. Cookie Crash! Interesting. Come on. I uh, should have saw that coming. This is bad. He has Diamantes on the board. I still have three heal triggers in the deck, though, on 15 cards. There's a slim chance we'll pull through here. And when I say slim, I mean fucking slim. But I have hope, I have faith, and I believe in my deck. Do those three things count for a victory? Fate decides right here, right now. I still have hope. Okay, fate sucks. Well, either way, I performed this deck. Thank you, Demon, for perform uh, playing the games with me. Shout-outs to you, my friend. Uh, otherwise, 
we got one win out of it. We beat, uh, we lost to Aqua Force and we lost to Dimension Police. But we won the first game. Uh, I'm kind of drawing a blank on there. I'm very tired. I've had a long day. But anyways, I guys hope you guys enjoyed this match. If this is the deck again. Hope you enjoy. This is Yabu signing out. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed the deck. Comment on the deck about the deck. Otherwise. Catch you guys here on the next one. There will be a live stream tomorrow after my appointment. See you guys tomorrow. This is Yabui signing out.